Hey, what's up guys? Johnny here, back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Today we will be ranking all the items in the credit shop from best to worst. Make sure you watch the whole video and leave a comment below at the end. If you agree or not with my list, what would you have done differently? So here's the story guys. I woke up to this. I was super hyped. I was like, finally a credit store update. Could not wait to finally have more stuff for free to buy with my credits. So I went straight to the credit store only to realize I pretty much had everything already and I was super disappointed, very, very disappointed. Where are the soldiers? I mean, we're supposed to have soldier skins for credits sooner or later. Also, where are the cool items? It seems like LK24, the survival of the fittest, I already had since preseason. It was in crates and then it was back in crates after that uh, about a few weeks ago. Uh, Type 25 Neon Tiger and AKS Neon Tiger, they're in the cop crates right now, the daily crates. So I already had everything. The only thing I didn't have is the M21 on fire. I just bought it before the video, but it was also in the free crates in season one. I think in the daily crates uh, with Terrence Brooks or something. But I'm pretty sure that M21 on fire was in the free crates last season. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but then nothing new, like no purple items. Um, the Molotov is here, but seriously, I was very, very disappointed. I was like, yo, Call of Duty, am I a joke to you? But then I chilled, I had a coffee, and I realized I'm not the only one playing this game. And like in other games, they have to think about everyone. And the free-to-play players, the new players, the low-level players, I think this whole credit stuff is to make the experience more enjoyable for the free players. I do have comments on my videos about new players that did not unlock the Type 25 yet, or some guys, they don't have a skin for their AK-117 or AKS or whatever. So this is a chance for anyone to have good weapons for free to compete, like Type 25, AK-117, and also to have some rare skins with the perks without spending money. So that's what we'll do today guys we will rank everything in the shop from best to worst so if you're a new player or if you're free to play and you don't have that many credits you don't know what to buy first well i will give you guys my opinion what should be the very first thing you buy with your credits and if you're short on credits what should you save for next now let's get started before we start make sure you guys subscribe to the channel right now and enter my christmas giveaway it ends on December 22, you only have a few days left. So all you need to do is subscribe right now, go to my channel and look for that video, leave a comment with your name or email so I can contact you if you win. Also check out my Twitter and retweet that tweet to win for an extra chance. I'll draw six winners on the YouTube comment and one more winner on Twitter. Let's get started with the rankings guys and we'll start with the operator skill and score streaks. In my opinion, if you don't have all of these, you should buy these before buying any weapon skins. The Sparrow and the Molotov Cocktail, they were only available through events. If you miss the event because you started the game late, well, you miss on something pretty important. Let's go with Sparrow, guys. In my opinion, Sparrow is the best operator skill in the game. If you don't have it, you're really missing out. So go buy that before anything else. And second would be the Molotov. I'll rank it just under the Sparrow. Buy the Sparrow first, and then if you don't have Molotov, buy it. I mean, Molotov is not the best score streak in the game, but it's the cheapest, and it's pretty good in objective games like Domination and maybe Search and Destroy. So you kind of want to have it for ranked multiplayer. Then before we go with the weapon skins, we'll go with the only odd item here. It's a spray, the Ghost Spray. I'll rank this on the complete bottom of the list. Guys, who the hell is using sprays anyway? Sprays is the most useless thing in the game. Nobody used that. Maybe at the start because you're bored, but might as well emote instead. So don't waste your credits on that. Unless you have everything already, maybe you can buy if you want, but it's a total waste. But let's go with the weapon skins now. If you already have Sparrow and Molotov, then you can use your credits on these. And I'll go with how useful the weapons are or how good they are. So we'll start with the Type 25, guys. I made a video already. The Type 25 is one of the best weapons in the game right now, maybe the best AR in the game. Now the next one is probably also one of the best ARs in the game. Some people will argue that is better than the Type 25. It was the number one AR in season one, but after the recent balance change, a lot of good players are back to the Type 25. So it's the AK-117. 
I will also rank it on the top of the rankings. They are some of the best weapons in the game. You will use these in ranked multiplayer. So definitely go for these first. Now we'll drop a little bit in the rankings and we'll go with another weapon that is still very good, maybe underrated. Still a lot of players use it in ranked multiplayer. It's a SMG, the AKS-74U. So AKS is still very good. I don't use it personally, but just buy whatever skin you like on that one. There's a few to choose from. The Dawn, the Metal Note, and the Neon Tiger. So here it's a weapon that is actually good, that you can use in pretty much any game mode. But it's maybe not the best SMG in the game right now. I know MSMC is getting a lot of love, but still, AKS, very good weapon. I'm just gonna swap that real quick. I like to have the, the rare stuff first. But hey, let's keep going, guys. I'll use the Striker here on B rank. Not for multiplayer, but it's still a very good weapon choice for Battle Royale, guys. You know I like shotguns in Battle Royale. It's always cool to have a skin on your Striker. So if you don't have a cool skin, go for the Striker. Only if you already have the good weapons. Now, same idea, the LK24, guys. I will put on B. It's not my favorite weapon at all. There's so many better ARs right now. But the thing is, it just got a buff lately. It's got a better fire rate than it has in Season 1. So it's an okay weapon, but you're probably not going to use it on ranked multiplayer because once again, there are already two better ARs in the game and maybe more. It's debatable again, but still LK24 is a cool weapon. You have three different skins in the shop right now, so use whatever you like. But once again, it's with your extra credits. There's better stuff out there. Now on C rank, I'll put the snipers here, the M21 on fire and the XPR50 because you're probably not going to use them much. The DLQ-33, the Arctic-50 out there are so much better for ranked multiplayer that you're probably never going to use them in ranked. I know some guys say good stuff about the M21. I know it's usable, but do you really use that in ranked? I don't think so. I mean, you can get nukes with a knife if you don't play ranked. So you pretty much can get nukes with any weapon. And according to some YouTubers, everything shreds. But are they using this in rank? I don't think so. Now the same idea with the UL736. The S36 is better right now for ranked at least. You're probably not going to use the UL much in Season 2. But that's why I put it on C rank. Now the Rocket Launcher, once again, I'll put it at the bottom. For the rank multiplayer, nobody used that. Everyone's going with the SMRS. Maybe it's a cool skin for Battle Royale if you don't have a skin. But I think the bats that was free for Halloween is looking better than that one. And now we're left with the two purple items. The Royal Crimson M21 and the Black Gold L4 LMG. These are very, very expensive items. You can only buy these if you have tons of credits. So if you already have the good weapons and you don't know what to do with your credits, these are collectible items. Are they useful? Not really. To me, the only reason I bought these is for Battle Royale. The black gold skin is super nice. But then again, I pretty much never use the M4 LMG. So I'll put that one on C, guys. It's not that good, but it's just looking good. Same thing for the Royal Crimson. Only buy it for Battle Royale. I really don't think you're going to use it in ranked multiplayer once again. So that's it for my rankings, guys. The top row, the best items in the game you can use in ranked multiplayer. Spyro is the best operator in the game. AK-117 and Type 25 are the top AR that you can use in rank. Then bottom row, Molotov Cocktail, just because you have to, you kind of have to buy if you don't have. And then the AKS is still a good weapon. I don't use it personally, but I know a lot of people use it in rank. Then the next row is maybe for the skins for Battle Royale or if you have extra credits. LK24, not bad, but not that great. And Striker is a very good weapon in Battle Royale. The C row is just for the skins if you want to have extra skins. And the bottom row is don't buy unless you have a lot of credits to waste. So guys, agree or not, leave a comment below right now. Hit the like if you enjoyed this video. And that will be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And once again, don't forget to subscribe for more Call of Duty Mobile videos. I will be back soon. Till then, watch my other stuff. Take care.